Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is a weird one. It's not a weird one, it's a good one. I've just been to Vista Scramble in Vista and I'm just on my way home. It was lovely to see so many people, chat to lots of people, see so many amazing cars. And once again, I didn't take that many photos, but I will put some on Instagram. But this video isn't about Vista Scramble. It's just to have a really quick catch up on what's been happening. Now the first thing is, let's just get it out of the way, the Boxster thing. Now the Boxster thing is, it's just too cold to do the brakes, to put the battery in, and it's just there sweating in the corner, and I, I dread to think what I'm going to find when I take the cover off. It's been sub-zero temperatures, I'm talking minus six, so all of the moisture and condensation inside is probably frozen on the inside and the outside, so I need to get the temperature let the temperature get into double figures and then I'll do the brakes I'll put the battery in I'll do the brakes and then I'll take it somewhere I'll, well no I won't take it somewhere I'll take the jack to do the CE boots and the strut and then we'll just take it off for an MOT and then do you know what I'll just start using it until I can sell it and that's that out of the way the other stuff is with the podcast now just recorded one. So the first one, it was me and Mark. I think that one went okay. Then we had one with Lee Sibley of Nine Works. That was a lovely chat. Had a great catch up with him and could have carried on talking for absolutely ages. And sometimes I talk too much and he's a guest and he's the one who should be doing all the talking. So I'm really looking forward to that one being out and for people being able to just checking my sat nav for people to being able to hear that and we've got exciting guests coming up as well which is really cool we're still going to record stuff where it's just me and mark or it might be impromptu just some random person on uh, i want to get a couple of people on that you've probably heard of before from hang on where are we going we're going left here from when i've been talking about them before they've been on other podcasts pj being one of them flat six jack i would really love to get him on and this is really, I don't really know where I am. So I'm trying to get home desperately. And once I get home, my wife's going away for a couple of days and she's literally going to jump in the car and go. She's not happy about it. She was threatening to hire a car, but then she couldn't get one at the last minute. So she is going in this car. It's like 60 miles away. So I need to get some fuel and then hand it over. But anyway, so I'm excited about all the stuff that's happening with the podcast. And in that vein, at the moment, I've been recording it, and you, you probably tell for anybody who's listened to it, that Mark's been using a professional microphone on a boom with all the right software on a, a laptop. I think he's using a Windows laptop, I don't know. But I've just been using my phone. So I've got uh, an iPhone 12 Pro Max, whatever it's called, Pro Plus, Pro Max. And with the headset plugged in, it's been fine, but sometimes we chat on for absolutely ages before the podcast starts, during the podcast, it goes on for an hour and a half, then afterwards, I think the battery's gonna run out, the sound quality is not great. Then when we talk about things that we're looking up, I can't look at my phone. Sometimes while we're on a conversation, in a conversation, Mark sends me something and I can't look at it. So what I've done is I've just ordered a road, I think it's called an NT Mini USB microphone and I've ordered a boom that's going to attach to with the little filter on top that you get the, don't get the harsh pa 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 purrs and I mean I've got a really old laptop, I mean when I say old I mean, what year is it? It's 2022 now. It's from 2008. It's like a big Sony media laptop. And I, I, I don't think that's going to be able to handle any editing or anything like that. But I, at some point, I want to be able to record the video as well. So, you know, when we get some cool guests on and some of it's going to be in the visual one, we might start putting them out on YouTube as well. Because some people like to consume their podcast via YouTube. So, although we could put the audio out... God, the sun's blinding off the road, off the wet road. We can put the audio out, but sometimes it's nice to put the video out as well. So I've got to set up my desk. 
I've ordered the microphone, I've ordered the boom. Um, I might just pop into the shop tomorrow, which is my Sunday today, Monday tomorrow, and grab like a laptop, which I, I don't really have the money for that, but I just, I'm gonna have to put it on my credit card and just max that out even further. So then I can start doing a bit of editing, record the video, because Mark doesn't want to do that. It's a bit of an overhead for him because he's doing the editing of the podcast. So that's where we are. And I'm kind of excited about all the new stuff that we've got coming along on that. But there's also some other things that I'm working on, possibly with Simon Jessup. Simon Jessup is a photographer. Go and find him on Instagram. He does some great stuff. He's got um, he's got a Porsche 912, a red one. Looks fantastic. And he's also got a 993 black one. So red 912 and a black 993. And all like really, really nice looking. And he does a lot of work with rent vehicle design, whom I love as well. So look out for stuff that I'll sh- I should be doing hopefully soon with Simon and maybe collaborate with some others as well. But anyway, that was the update. There's not a lot on that. Nothing crazy's happened apart from the roads are really heavily salted. I wanted to bring my 912 to a bit to scramble, but it's it, just too much. There's just no way I would have been able to get it going with the roads salted as they are. I just know. And without, you know, crashing. Oh, people stop pulling out in front of me. Right. This should be accelerating like that when I can't really see. But anyway, that's it. Thank you to everybody who says subscribe, like, and commented. Uh, please keep subscribing. I still want to get to a thousand subscribers for when I start wrenching on the Boxster. I'd really love to do that. But, um, a lot of it's temperature dependent and if I could find somebody nearby who's got a garage that I could just park, pull into <coughs> and then do the um, do the work there that'd be great but anyway thank you for watching catch you on the next video